this one is 2.9 and there is a big truss structure given and we need to find out the elongation in member BC which is right here okay the force applied here is 500 kN and the material is steel cross section area is 20 cm square now it's a big structure and if we start solving all the truss members uh, joint by joint it may take a lot of time before it we reach BC member okay so what we'll do is we'll try to use the method of cuts for this purpose and that cut we can make right here so that I can separate this whole part as a body and we can analyze that itself on this structure we have a reaction coming here which is RDY and these member forces will be there one force going this way other member force going this way here and this member force which is your member FBC this is what we are going to have so let's call this F1 let's call this F2 there right now within this structure let's say if this angle is theta right here I can do the force balance in the y direction summation of force in the y direction now interestingly in that y force only this will appear and this will appear because both F1 and F2 are horizontal forces so how do we write y force balance it's going to be fbc sin theta plus rdy equals to zero so if i can calculate the value of rdy i can find the value of fbc once we have the force we can find out the deflection now to find out these reactions we can go back to the original structure and analyze the forces on it so this one is ray this one is rdy now for this whole structure if I do force balance in y direction ray plus rdy is going to balance your 500 kN force and we can take moment about this point A so 500 kN with a distance of 1 meter is going to balance your rdy into total distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters there ok so with this we can find out the value of rdy equals to 100 kilonewtons so once we have that your fbc becomes minus 100 divided by sin theta kilonewtons now how do we find this theta here if you look at this triangle this is one meter this one is two meters right here so one here two here so this becomes square root of five meters right so now the deflection in member bc will be your force FBC times the length of BC member length we have already calculated which is square root of 5 meters divided by the elastic modulus elastic modulus because steel so we can write 205 GPA and your cross section area is 20 centimeter square so if I substitute these numbers here the value of delta BC comes out to be a negative number which is 0 0.61 millimeters.